Good day and thanks for joining us. I'm Antika Rasava reporting from the Greek capital and here's some interesting news coming out of Dublin, no less. Ireland's Prime Minister Edda Kennedy has confirmed that his country will in fact be exiting its strict bailout program by the end of the year. The country was given an 85 billion euro bailout in 2010 following a property crash that left its banks teetering. It was a second country after Greece to seek international bailout assistance. It's not clear whether Ireland will apply for what is being called a precautionary credit line from its European lenders. Such a move would create a kind of insurance policy in case of unforeseen difficulties the country may confront in the months after its exit. Even so, however, regardless, European finance ministers meeting today are expected to sign off on Ireland's exit uh, strategy, a move that will no doubt unnerve Athens as it continues to struggle along with its austerity six years into an acute economic recession, three and a half years after signing up to a similar bailout deal that is showing no sign of hope. Instead, talks of fresh stealth taxes here abound, and Mario Draghi, the head of the European Central Bank, overnight said that Greece will be heading for a third aid package and that is being seriously considered and the prospect will be thoroughly reviewed at the European uh, Union uh, summit by the end of the year. Now government ministers here are getting extremely restless with austerity, growing numbers of conservative MPs that are leading this coalition are openly criticizing Finance Minister Yanni Sturnaras for his rigidity and fiscal rigidity. Uh, reports over the weekend also hinted of a growing rift between himself and the Prime Minister Andonis Samaras. Senior government officials were quick to step in and deny these allegations, but we will be minding these uh, fragile and at times testy relations between the two men. That's it from us here today. Join us here again tomorrow.